Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths channel, and this is question number nine from the Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level at Excel, uh, June stroke October 2020 paper. Here we have a question um, about function that's given, and we we, ha we don't actually <coughs> have the function itself, but we have the gradient function f dash of x means the gradient of this function the gradient function this is the differential of the original function and when we know that the original function passes through the point 9 10 and the gradient function is given by this expression 27x squared minus and then you've got this fraction 21 x cubed minus 5x all over 2 times root x and x is greater than 0 so we have to find the the function f of x fully simplifying each term. So if I want to find what f of x is, okay, if I integrate with respect to x, f dash of x, that's going to give me the original function, okay, because it's like doing the reverse of differentiation, undoes the differentiation. So if I take my original function, or I take my, my gradient function, which they've given us, and I integrate that with respect to x, that's going to give me f of x. Okay, um, so that's what I need to do. I need to integrate this, this function. So in order for me to integrate this function, first of all, I have to rewrite this in a way that is more friendly for integration. So I need to split this into separate terms and write the x terms as one term in the numerator. So I can write this as 27x squared. That, that term is fine to integrate, but these I have to split them up. So this is like 21 x cubed over 2 times instead of root x I'll write it as x to the power of half right in index form um, and now I've got to be careful because I'm going to split this up so you've got to be really careful here okay when you have when you have a minus sign in front of this fraction um, remember the fraction bar acts like some sort of um, a bracket so what I'm going to do is I put this in brackets I'll put minus 5x over 2 times x to the power of a half and now I can simplify this further. But the important thing here is to keep this inside a bracket because you're splitting it up into separate terms and that minus sign is for the whole of this thing. So it's it's like you think about there's a bracket here. It's very important for you to do that. Okay, the bracket doesn't need to be written when there's a fraction bar going across the whole thing because that fraction bar acts kind of, you can say, like a bracket. So here you've got to be very careful. This is a place where I'm sure uh, many students make made mistakes in, in the, the when I set this paper for my class there were a few students quite a few students who lost marks because of this because this minus sign will change this here to a plus and many people add this as a minus and then a minus when they split it up but it's gonna be a minus and a plus when they split it when you split it up as you can see now I have to um, basically um, combine these into one term so here I've got 21 over 2 which is fine so I've got 27 x squared that that part is fine I've got minus 21 over 2 I can, I can keep it like that and then I've got to combine these together this is x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of a half where you have to remember subtract the powers so that's going to be x to the power of 3 minus a half which is going to be equal to x to the power of if you write it in terms of um, one power that's like uh, uh, two and a half which is five over two or you can say six over two minus one over two which is five over two so this is 21 over 2, x to the power of 5 over 2. And you're going to have minus times minus, which is plus. You're going to have 5 over 2, x to the power of, this x to the power of 1, and divided by x to the power of a half. You subtract the powers, you get 1 minus a half is a half. So that's going to be x to the power of a half here. So now it's ready for me to integrate. So now I can say the integral of 27x squared minus 21 over 2, x to the power of 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 x to the power of a half integrate all of that with respect to x so don't forget to put the dx and don't forget to put this all in a bracket because the whole of this thing is being um, integrated all right so now it's ready to integrate so once i start integrating i get rid of this integral sign and i write my brackets well i don't even have to put the square bracket here because that comes later on in P2. Here what we can do is we can add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So it's 27x cubed divided by 3 minus, and you've got 21 over 2, 
x to the power of, now you add 1 to the power, that's 5 over 2 plus 1, which is 2 over 2. So 5 over 2 plus 2 over 2, which is 7 over 2, divided by 7 over 2. I'll write it like that for now. Plus, and you've got 5 over 2, and then you add 1 to the power, so it's x to the power of a half plus 1. So it's x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2, which is x to the power of 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2. And don't forget your plus c. This is an indefinite integral. We're going to put plus c, and we're going to find what c is eventually because we know a point that the line passes through. <clears throat> okay, so now this is this is now going to give us what f of x is. So now we have to basically um, just simplify this a bit. So you have f of x equals 27 over 3 is 9. So you have 9x cubed. Now this is like 21 over 2 and uh, when you divide by 7 over 2, it's like multiplying by 2 over 7. Okay, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. Divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by its reciprocal. So that's times 2 over 7, x to the power of 7 over 2. And similarly here, this is 5 over 2 times 2 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2, plus c. So just tidying that up a little bit more, you've got 9x cubed. Now, there's, they cancel, the 2's cancel, the 7 and the 21 cancel, leaving you with the 3. So you're left with minus 3x to the power of 7 over 2. And you're going to have a plus here. Now, the 2's cancel, and you're left with 5 over 3x to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. So now it says it goes through the point, as we said, um, 9, 10. So it goes through the point 9, 10. So remember, this is the x value, this is the y value. We can use this to find what c is. And once we find what c is, we'll be finished. We'll, find, we'll have then found f of x and simplified each term. So y is equal to 10 and x is equal to 9. So this is 10 equals 9 times 9 cubed minus 3 times 9 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 5 over 3 times 9 to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Now, we can work out what this is. We can stick this in the calculator. Remember, the, the 7 over 2, so I'll just write this in a more friendly form for putting in a calculator. This is like 3 times the square root of 9 to the power of 7, and this is 5 over 3 times the square root of 9 cubed plus c. Okay, so I can work out what this is, just sticking this in my calculator. So I have 9 times 9 cubed. Okay, uh, minus 3 times the square root of 9 to the power of 7. Okay, plus, oops, let's get out of that. Plus 5 over 3 times the square root of 9 cubed. Well, that's going to be 3 cubed, which is 27. I'll just write it anyway. The square root of 9 cubed. And that gives me 45. So we have 10 equals 45 plus C. Therefore, C is equal to 10 minus 45, which is minus 35. So now we can say F of X is equal to 9X cubed minus 3X to the power of 7 over 2 plus 5 over 3X to the power of 3 over 2 minus 35. And there we have our answer for this question. Just put this a bit more clearly, 5 over 3. And there we have the answer to our question, number 9. And that concludes this paper. OK, that's the end of this paper, um, paper paper 1, P1 of June 2000, uh, June stroke October 2020 of the International A-Level Edexcel paper. Um, Thank you for watching. Now, other paper, uh, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this area here. And over here will appear in another playlist, which uh, is all about integration from P1. Um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon and on the card on the top, which appears during this video, you will find a link to another P1 paper. Um, thank you for watching.